She threatened to burn the photo album, which is the last physical remnant of my dead mother. Inside what date my was home. that that she threatened to burn the photo? Um, that was the weekend of. Uh, that was July the 16th. And how long had she been out of the house by then? She wasn't out of the house by then. She had texted me that before I removed her from the house, and that was my whole basis for removing her from the house. I never. When Stop. I got the restraining. Stop. You don't deny that. That's in the texts. Yeah, I guess so. What do you mean you guess so? Now I have to ask you this. Why? Your Honor, just to hurt him. I, like, just being honest, that was, that was what it was. But I would, in, in reality, I would never do something like that. So, but yeah, yeah, I, I understand that, that in reality. But what you've said yeah. creates a lot of problems for us. I'm sorry. I don't have anything further. I don't know who has this photo album, but you have a young man who took her out of a tough situation and put her in a safe environment in his home had a falling out, broke up, and everything fell apart. Now, I'm not sure he proved that she took any of the items that he claimed in evidence. But this young lady chose to take, steal, something of value to him. Yeah. And to lie about it. Also, why would he come here and still claim he doesn't have it? Because I'm not sold on the idea that he wants to remain attached to her. No, oh, I he... am. You are? I am. He filed a restraining order. That means yeah. you stay away from me. Yeah. So that's... You know, I've spent a lot of time practicing in family law. Yeah. And unfortunately, there's a lot of domestic violence yeah. in that context. Does, One way to does look... Does he at... fit that profile? Well, I don't you know, it's, I, I don't think we can really determine that here today. And I don't feel like I have sufficient evidence to make that determination at all. But the one thing to keep in mind that I always have in the back of my head when I'm listening to these stories, and I think the defendant was about to kind of start explaining it, it's called love bombing. And it's a common sort of pattern of these toxic relationships where at the outset of a relationship, there are huge grand gestures made, far beyond anything normal. This wasn't as simple as, you know what, you need a place to stay, and so I want you to come stay with me. This was, I'm buying you a car. There's another way to look at that, which is a sort of pattern of control that's beginning. Now, I'm not saying that's what happened here, but the one thing that was of critical importance to me in judging credibility is that he claims that he had ring video of her stealing all of his belongings and just eh, didn't really bother to save it. He knew he was gonna be in court over this. He'd already gone in for a restraining order. He would have saved the video every which way to Sunday. Didn't she also say that she took his artwork? She said the pyramids belonged to her. I'm not because satisfied if she, if that she, he is... If she took the most valuable thing to him, which was the photo album of his late mother, I wouldn't put it past her to take artwork either. Right. But she claims it's hers. She didn't provide proof of that. Okay. So we'll give that to the plaintiff. The other thing, I would give her back the $500 she spent for the down payment on the car, because he took the car back. In text messages, he said, if you pay so for the, the text insurance, messages. down payment and... Oh, okay. I have no problem with giving her $500 for that. Okay, we all agree that we are granting the defendant $500 for the car. But also, I believe, based on reviewing all of the text messages, he clearly admits that he has her stuff. He said it today, you can come get it back when I get my stuff. Uh, so she is asking yes. for $1,930 for and, her personal belongings. And he's asking for... $5,000, right? For $5,000 for his belongings. So suppose we direct him to give her back all her property that he has. Given that he has made clear that he's holding her belongings hostage until she returns what's his, I don't want to see these two folks back in court again. So I would award her $1,930 for the personal belongings. Wait, 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 wait. Order the plaintiff to turn over her stuff. Why are we giving her the value of $1,900? I, I agree with you. So I would order, order him to turn over her stuff. I think I'm going to dissent. I would give her the money for her belongings because she provided receipts detailing the value of the belongings that she doesn't have. And I'm gonna dissent on the award to the plaintiff. I wouldn't give him anything because I think that it was within the plaintiff's power to provide much more substantial, and in this case, definitive proof that she took his belongings by just showing us the ring video. And his failure to do so leads me to distrust his say-so that okay. it happened. And I don't agree with you on that. I would say he's entitled to the money for the artwork since he produced receipts, and he hasn't put a price on any of the other things. But everything else that he's claiming that she has, we can't make her turn over because she hasn't admitted to it, and he hasn't right. proven that she took it. Okay, so you and I found that he's entitled to $2,600 for the artwork. And I would dissent from that portion for the artwork, but I'm in agreement with what you're giving the defendant, which is $500 yes. plus her stuff back. Okay, we have a verdict with a dissent.